Hi, Fellowship family. We're back on day four. Today is Wednesday. It's the inauguration day for the United States, and I feel like it's appropriate that today we're praying for our own nation. I don't know at this point, as I'm making this recording, what will be happening, but I know that there are so many who will be gathering all over the country, some in hope and some in despair. And so I pray that uh, as we join together in reading Acts chapter 2, the inauguration of the church, that we would take hope, um, and especially our focus passage, as we read about the Holy Spirit pouring itself out on those who were gathered, that today there would be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on those who gather across our nation. So join with me in praying. Father God, today, much like that day in Jerusalem, there are many crowds gathering in our capital city and across the nation. Crowds made up of people from many different states, many different backgrounds, gathered hoping for something new to begin. God, we ask for you to pour out your Holy Spirit on the crowds and that people from across the nation will hear your gospel in terms they will understand for the first time. We pray for the inauguration of a new era for the church in America, not of earthly power, but of kingdom power that results from repentance and yes, even persecution. We pray for you to pour out miracles, dreams, various signs, visions on your people, wonders that confound the skeptic and astound the legalist. May our government authorities ask, what does this mean? And may your church step forward in boldness and answer them. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We ask for an outpouring of your spirit on our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. And I pray that this would go with you the rest of today, that God would pour out on you a boldness in his word, his truth, and his faithfulness, and that it would spread, that it would spread just like it did that day in Jerusalem. Thank you so much for joining us.